is an apple tree rootstock. I'm going to attempt to turn this into possibly eight or ten apple tree rootstocks. Stick around. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is going to take your apple tree rootstock and put it in a pot full of soil. Put it in there, bury the roots good, a good firm base for this. Now this is the part that's going to kill me. Now I'm going to clip it right below a little node, right there. So cut this off. So now it's just a little nub. Now we're going to take this, it's another little pot, uh, and I'm going to cut the bottom off it. And uh, we'll see. All right, now we got the bottom cut off. Now we're going to take this, we're going to place it over the entire rootstock. Just like that. All right, so now I just went, grabbed another bucket, just a scooping device. Went and grabbed a whole bunch of compost. Now, we're gonna fill this whole thing right up with compost. You can use sawdust, um, wood chips, you can use dirt, you can use sand. I'm just going to put a little bit around the outside just to kind of hold it in. Now, this is a process called layering or stool layering. So essentially, what I'm tricking this apple tree seedling to do, I know it doesn't look pretty right now, but in the spring, when this thing starts growing, uh, cutting it is going to force it to send off a whole bunch more shoots. And the reason that I'm putting this, you know, in there is to give it, give the new roots a chance to establish. So that way, this one rootstock could possibly turn into uh, two to two to twelve, possibly rootstocks, and then. Then you, in the spring when they start growing, you just cut this away or pull this off and you can harvest each individual rootstock. Alright, so we're just going to leave this be until we start seeing some growth here in the spring. And uh, stick around for the follow-up videos on this and uh, we'll see how many rootstocks we can get from it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.